Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Dead Man Deezy's Kanji Study Streams. We got uh, 12 new vocabulary words coming right at you today. Um, uh, yeah, these are for the JLPT M3. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up in the chat. Um, I'm just going to go over 12 of these. We're doing every other day now because i got to actually study for the test. Uh, it's coming up in December, so we got to get cracking. Uh, anyway, first, our first uh, word of the day is mister. To abandon, to fail, to desert, or forsake. I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit here. Good music, but uh, I gotta gotta focus on studying. Anyway, mister is to abandon, fail, desert, or forsake. This is with the kanji for meat to look at and suteru to throw away. So if you look at something and then you kind of turn your back on it, you're abandoning it, failing it, deserting it, or forsaking it. Misteru is to abandon, forsake, or desert. Misteru. Misteru. To abandon, fail, desert, or forsake. Misteru. Abandon, forsake. Misteru. Misteru. To abandon, fail, or forsake. Number two is kolka. Effect, effectiveness, or efficacy. Could also be the results. On the right side, we have ka, which is the fruits or rewards of something. And on the left side, we have kol, which is merit, efficacy, efficiency, or benefit. On the left side, we have a crossing or an intermingling. And on the right side, we have ryoku for power. For the So the efficiency or efficacy or merit of something is how much energy it has in crossing into what I'm going to say here is existence. But you can put it in whatever context you want. Kiku or kol is merit or efficacy. Kiku or coal is merit or efficacy. The energy one has when it crosses into reality. Coal or kiku. Merit or efficacy. The efficiency of some reward, which is an effect. Kolka is an effect or effectiveness. Kolka. Kolka no kol. Kani kiku. As in kolka. Or an effect or efficacy. Kolka is an effect or efficacy. Turn it down more. Though. This is a good album, but it's a little distracting. We're gonna turn on haircuts for men because it's less distracting. Kolka number three is senjutsu. Jutsu is some skill, and on the left side we have sen, which is shimeru. Uruna, uranau, or sen, fortune telling, divining, or occupy. So the divining skill is divination or fortune telling itself. Senjutsu no sen, shimeru, or uranau, fortune telling, or divination. Sen, uranau, or shimeru. Sen, uranau, or shimeru, fortune telling. Or divining. Senjutsu. This is one of those words that came to me from my magic game, so sorry about that, folks. It is a nerd word. Senjutsu. Senjutsu. Is fortune telling or divination? Senjutsu. Number four is meishi, which is a noun, a named on the left side, part of speech. So the part of speech that does the naming of things, when it when you call things, like a phone is a noun because that's what you call or name that particular object. So the part of speech that is a name is a noun, a meishi. Shi is our new kanji with the radicals on the left side for to talk. And on the right side, we have the radical for, I think, 
the same maybe speech and speech and director or official official speech so we have the speech on the left side and the right side this is official um, or a director so the director of speech is a part of speech or poetry she part of speech or poetry is she or the director of speech me she no she me she no she me she no she the director or a part of speech and the part of speech that does the naming is the nouns the nouns give objects their name me she me she are nouns me she are nouns me she are nouns me she are nouns Number five is bubun, a portion, a section, or a part. This is another one of those words that's literally just a doubling up of the same meaning in order to get directly what um, a person is saying. So a bubun is literally a part of a part. A portion is a part part. Bubun is a portion or a part. Bubun is a portion or a part. Bubun is a portion or a part. Bubun. Portion or a part. Bubun is a portion or a part. Bubun, a portion or a part. Number six is Horu. Horu is to dig, ironically, to to excavate or to delve into. You dig a horu, a hole. You dig a hole. Uh, other uh, way to pronounce this is kutsu. Um, I'm not really going to remember that, but I will remember horu for sure because that's just a hole. Radicals in this kanji are a hand on the left side and to excavate on the right. This is a corpse over the top here, and a taking out of the corpse is uh, excavation. So, uh, excavation by hand is to dig, delve, or excavate. Kutsu, kutsu, or horu is to dig or excavate. Kutsu, or horu, is to dig or excavate. Kutsu, or horu, dig or excavate. Kutsu or horu to dig or excavate. Kutsu or horu to dig or excavate. Kutsu or horu to dig or excavate. or horu to dig or excavate something number six number seven is kakusu to hide or to conceal kakusu is also pronounced in with our kanji for a a village on the left side on the right side we are having clawing at the katakana for yo over the heart so if there is a village and it's clawing at your heart um it would only be doing that if you're concealing something. That's the story I'm going to make. You're you're in a village and you've got to conceal something so people are clawing at yo heart to get at it. Akusu. Radical on the right overall means careful or compassionate, prudent or cautious. So you have to be cautious in the village if you're concealing something. Kakusu or in, to conceal, hide, or cover. Kakusu or in, 
conceal, hide, or cover. You have to be cautious in the village if you are concealing something in your heart. Kakusu. Kakusu or in. To conceal, hide, or cover. Kakusu or or in to conceal, hide, or cover. Kakusu or in to conceal, hide, or cover. Kakusu or in to conceal, hide, or cover. Kakusu. Too high to cover. Number eight is Kido, startup, booting up, or activation. On the left side, we have Ki to start up or to wake up, and Do on the right side. Up on the right side means movement or moving. So to start moving is startup, booting up, or activation. Kido is startup or boot up. Kido is startup or boot up. Kido is startup or boot. Kido, start up or boot up. Kido, start up or boot up. Kido, start up or boot up. Kido. Number nine is nomi. This is more of a grammar pattern than a word, but nomi at the end of something, of a phrase, means only or nothing but whatever was preceding it. Nomi is nothing or only. Nothing but or only. Nomi. Nomi. Only or nothing but. Nomi. Only or nothing but. Number 10 is soko, a swift attack, a quick attack, or right away without delay. Haste is another way to say this one. Soku on the left side is speed, and ko on the right side is aggression. So a speedy aggression is a swift attack or a quick attack. Soko. Soko is a swift attack or haste. This is another one that came directly from Magic the Gathering. I apologize, I am playing that game in Japanese um because that's my immersion i like i like playing the cards plus they have like a lot of the same words so i can get really get used to a lot of words just by sheer repetition you know each card is its own flash card so cool and of course then i have to sit down and translate a few cards before i can use them but that's not a bad thing so cool is swift attack swift attack so cool Swift attack or swift aggression. Soko. Number 11 is Kaimetsu. Kai on the left is Kawaderu to destroy on the left side. And Metsu on the right side is total destruction, as in Zetsu Metsu. Kaimetsu. Let me make sure that this just means destroying destruction. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, demolition on the right and destroy on the right. So demolition, destroying, is destruction or annihilation. Kaimetsu. Hard to get this one confused with another word. Kaimetsu. Kaitometsu. Kaimetsu is destruction or annihilation. Lots of strokes in this one. This might take me a little bit to write down. Hold on. Kai. It's a. Kai metsu. Kai metsu. Destruction or annihilation. Kai metsu. Kai 
Heimitze is destruction, annihilation. Heimitz, destruction or annihilation. Heimitz, destruction or annihilation. And our last one for tonight is Buka Buka. Too large or baggy. Buka Buka des. Buka Buka. Too large or baggy or tooting or blasting. Buka. Buka Buka. Baggy. Buka Buka. Buka Buka is baggy. Buka Buka is baggy. Let's go back to the top, make sure we got all these down for now. Our first word for today was to abandon or to fail with misteru. Or to abandon, to look at, and then to throw away. Misteru. Misteru. Uh, and effect or effectiveness is kouka, with the energy involved in crossing over. Kouka, and the fruits of that effect. Kouka is effect or effectiveness. A divination is senjutsu, with our kanji for divination and jutsu for a skill senjutsu uh, next is a noun which is a naming part of speech mei toshi mei shi is our naming part of speech a portion a section or a part is bubun or a section section a portion or a part is a bubun bubun to excavate or delve into is horu with our hand taking out a corpse. Horu. Kanikutsu. To hide or conceal something is kakusu. When you go into a village, you have to be careful when you are concealing something. Kakusu. It's to conceal. Start up or boot up is kido or a waking up movement. Kido. Kido is a waking up movement. Uh, nothing but or only is nomi. It's more of a more of a grammar pattern than it is a word. Next we have swift attack or a soko. A swiftly moving aggression. Soko. And lastly, oh no, we had kaimetsu, which was destruction. With our kanji for uh, a crushing on the left side, kowaru, kowareru. And on the right side, we have metsu, as in zetsu metsu for extinction, or zetsu metsu for destruction. Kaimetsu is annihilation or destruction. And lastly, we had buka buka, which means baggy. Buka buka. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, this December, we have the JLPT M3 coming up, so get studying. Uh, I know I'm going to whip out my book and go out of here for a little bit. So good luck, everyone, and good bowling. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Ja, mata ashita ne. Mata ashita. Ah, sumimasen. Tabun kinyobi. Kinyobi de. Tsugi no so. Hoso. Tsugi no hoso wa kinyobi des. Sumimasen. Kinyobi de. えっと、また行って嬉しい。さよなら。<音楽>